Working directly with parents and local partnership services, we're creating a series of videos to help and advise families who have an autistic child. In this series, we'll cover everything from how to speak with young people to dealing with everyday situations like dinner time or traveling. We'll give you tips and tricks that parents and professionals have learned through their own experiences and also teach you a little bit about what autism may mean for your child or young person. A very special thank you goes to the Greenwich Parent Care Participation Forum who were instrumental in co-producing this series alongside professional services. Hi everyone, my name is Ola. I have three children and um, the reason why I'm here is because of my 15 year old who lives with autism. Some people with ASD or those that care for people with ASD prefer the use of person first language. So instead of saying an autistic person, they would say a person who has autism or ASD. It is, this is because an autism diagnosis does not define who a person is. It's only a part of who they really are. There is also a neurodiversity movement where people prefer identity first language and prefer to refer to themselves or those that they care about as an autistic person. It is important to consider and be respectful of how a person and family identifies in terms of neurodiversity.